don't know if it's just because I'm older. My children watching it. I'm like, what is happening in here? Totally unrelated. Do you remember that movie Cloverfield? Mm -hmm. I loved it. Did you see it in theaters? Mm -hmm. Did you vomit? Mm -mm. It was so motion sick. Because it was all the cameras and the... Yeah. Did you watch the sequel? No, because the first one I had to exit the theater and barf. And... Se sequel's totally different. Oh. It's not even this close to the same uh, Were they cinematography. Just like... Okay, all right. Yeah, I mean, plot-wise. Sure. <clears throat> I loved Cloverfield. I thought it was smart. It was a cool movie. Mm -hmm. It just made me sick. I mean, it wouldn't happen. Like, no one would have be that steady with a camera or <laughs> continue to record that much. Although these days, maybe. I don't know. Some content creators. I think the second you see a monster walking down Park Avenue, I you're putting your phone away. I think that you are underestimating the professionalism of some of these YouTubers. You're going to get eaten. Run. But the views, if you don't. <laughs> if you don't. Smash that like and subscribe. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Train the algo. Did you see the uh, TikTok video she, Maddie made? No. It's oh yes, funny. yes, yes, yes. It was funny. She Which did one? A good job. Uh, little John. Yeah, the the end is really good. It was really good. Yeah, good cut. Mads, you're the best. We love it. Maddie, I'm not going with Mads. I refuse. Reese. I'll just go with Maddie, yeah. and I'll just make eye contact. Then she'll know. Oh. I, I did tell you, but I didn't have the right one. Well, that. Uh, Good thing we didn't say anything weird. Seriously. Wow. I was cursing up a storm. I know. Just 45 seconds ago. And now everybody's going to know that I got sick watching Cloverfield. <laughs> if you ask me if I vomited in the movie theater. <laughs> Are we ready then? Yes. Cool. <sighs> They're doing it again. What? These big corporations, <laughs> they're doing it again. They are ruining my ability to steal things from them. Oh, got it. Okay. Remember a couple months ago, uh, Netflix was like, hey, all you people who share passwords, <laughs> we're not going to let you do that anymore. And then behind the scenes, we were all like, yeah, right. And then it worked. They really did it. And they, they made really so much money. They did it. And it stunk. Well, now the streaming app Max which is a combination of a Discovery Channel and HBO, they are going to start locking down on password sharing, and I am miffed. <laughs> I'm 0% surprised. You're 0% surprised that I'm miffed because I steal it, or you're 0% surprised they're doing this? Both. Yeah. Both. Yeah. So it worked for Netflix. You're absolutely yeah. right. So many more people had to sign up because the network password sharing goes away. But this is really going to affect a lot of people, especially my sister. <laughs> Because I steal her Max password, yeah, and I've become accustomed to having Max and not paying for it. So I'm gonna have to ask her to sign up for a second account. Yeah, that's gonna be tough for her. How much is Max? I don't know. I've never paid for it. <laughs> I think it is one of the more expensive ones, though. No idea. We don't know. I just share <laughs> share the password. Yeah. This is Kim Commando today. It's free. You can share this. With literally everyone, and we have no problem with it. Please do. Actually, we encourage it. Not like fake Netflix encouraging it a year ago. <laughs> we literally encourage it. We stream Kim Commander today on Facebook and YouTube, Rumble, every single weekday, 1030 on the West Coast, 130 on the East Coast. If you're in the middle of the country, figure it out. Uh, and we, we appreciate you watching. Kim Commando, of course, on vacation this entire week. She's in Japan have you heard from her at all? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this woman can't take a vacation. Hi, Kim. I asked her if she was actually going to take time off and not work, and she said she was going to. You still hear from her on a daily basis? Of course. Come on, Kim. You know Kim. I know, but you'd think. I know. Take some time off. Enjoy yourself. Uh, I'm Andrew Babinski. I am here every single weekday with Kim. Normally, Allie, you jump in once a week. This is, we are the A-team, Kim Commando's A-team, Alex Seligman. The, what, what are the, what, you what, did it. I know, and I did it naturally and smoothly. And, and I then just, I made a deal. It's fine. I appreciate Andrew's it. Andrew's had some performance anxiety about my last name. I've really it's psyched myself yeah. out about pronouncing defense. your last name. Amazing content queen.
Amazing Content Queen. Yeah. That's a heck of a title. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like you're you're humbly <laughs> accepting it. You know, it feels I can't I feel like I can't say it myself. No, I wouldn't be able to either. Like Kim, yeah. she often refers to herself as the digital goddess. And I would never be able to do that, even if that was the moniker I gave myself. We're not Kim Commando. We're not we're not at that level. Obviously. Do you have any content for us, Queen? I do, in fact. Five things Perfect. That you should know in tech today. Uh, AI leaders are pretty scared. Why? Well, why do you think? So 200 leading AI researchers, they just signed this open letter and sent it to, you know, all the big ones, Google and OpenAI and Meta, and said, oh, it's a little bit weird and bad that you don't let us examine your systems and see if they're actually safe. Uh, if we try to do it, you basically call it hacking. This does not seem good. But they are private, for-profit private companies. Okay. ChatGPT wasn't supposed to be that way to start. Yeah. And they decided, hey, we have this great thing. Let's make a boatload of money on it. Sure. Uh, and if I owned a private company, I wouldn't let you get in either. I'm not <laughs> letting you know any of my secrets. I see your point. And certainly, I'm sure this is what they're going to say. But this is technology that is like... Truly impacting all of us, truly changing the world. This is the biggest thing that, you know, has changed. Oh, well, nothing bad can come of it. So do, I don't think... Oh, I forgot you're not scared of AI. Not at all. Good. Okay. I mean, I know that we're going to fake everything and nothing on the internet is ever going to be real, but the machines are not going to come and eat us alive. We're fine. Okay. You've been trained by the AI or overlords. I like to see that. Number two, meta. Yeah. We're still talking about it because how much money did they lose? Being down for two hours. Two full hours. Two uh, full hours. I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone was logged off. I mean, you, you look at the numbers and yeah. they're like, 2.2 million users were affected. I think it was everyone. I think yeah. it was like 100% across yeah. the board. And it was on Instagram and it was on Facebook Messenger and Facebook. I'm going to go with $600 million. You overshot a little bit. Okay. Let's do the math together. But- you know, pretty good guess. So all of this, of course, is ad revenue, right? Because people aren't seeing the ads, clicking on the ads, whatever, the ads, the ads, the ads. Uh, if we look at, Lad Bible actually did this. Thank you, Lad Bible. Three point, or sorry, $38.7 billion was their ad revenue the final quarter of last year. Okay. That breaks down to $17.5 million an hour. So about $35 million. So I was way over. You were way over. But, you know, you were in the right... I said million instead of billion? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate the credit, but uh, you don't need to pander to me. <laughs> I was completely wrong. Uh, everybody's still arguing about what happened. There's, you know, they're just saying like, oh, there was an error. People were, on, whatever. They're giving no real answer. Um, still not Taylor Swift. It could have been like the, in 2021 when this happened, it really was an error. Somebody from Meta, you know, whatever, wrong button, wrong thing, wrong server. It could also be related to the submarine cables in the Red Sea that were cut. Yeah, mm. that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. Because that's like how the internet gets inter. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just a net. A also, solo standalone net. Yeah, and if you don't know about that, that sounds totally fake, that the internet is like going through these cables you know, under the sea. It really you know, what's funny is that the woman, I've been with the woman I'm with for oh, a year and a half now or whatever it is. Uh, I'm going to get in trouble for saying whatever it is. Uh, <laughs> but when I brought up to her that there were cables at the bottom of the ocean, she did not believe me. Yeah. So much so, I had to pull up an image sure. of a chart of where all these cables are. Well, and I'm sure she's a smart woman. And that's, she is. it's just one of those things, if you don't know it, it's like, that can't be... <laughs> I'm like, how do you think we went had intercontinental communication back in the 30s and 40s? Well, undersea cables, they were cut. We are not sure when or by who. Is or it sabotage? Are we saying it's sabotage? I'm not saying anything. Is it Dr. Evil? <laughs> Number three, did you hear about this grandma who got swatted? This was in 2022. Is this one of Kim's jokes? This sounds like the no, beginning no, of no, one no, of I Kim's promise. jokes. No, 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 I promise. No. So this woman, uh, this is 2022. She's a grandma who lives in Colorado, Ruby Johnson, this 70 year old. 78-year-old lady, the Denver SWAT team used Find My, the Apple, mm -hmm. you know, locate things, and they pinpointed a stolen truck, firearms, and an iPhone at her house. Oh, no. So they saw Find My, they saw this on Find My, didn't really do much else to see who lives at this house, what's going on, whatever. How did they know the guns were there, according to Find My? Did people put Apple Air tags inside of their guns? I don't know. I don't okay. know. This whole thing was um, a little haphazard, as we will see, because they rush into this house. Ruby is there in her slippers 
and her robe. Moo-moo. The seven-year-old. She was in like, a moo oh, Probably, yeah. Um, and they've got their body armor and automatic weapons, and they ransacked her house. Um, was the truck there? No, none of it was there. None of it? None of it was there. Obviously, she sued, and the jury said, like, oh, you probably should have made sure you had probable cause. Ruby took home $1.26 million in compensation compensatory damages, and 2.5 in punitive. So now Ruby's rich. Seriously, those are going to be some nice moo-moos. I mean, we are talking Louis Vuitton moo-moos from now on. Find my. Oopsie-daisy. Oopsie-daisy. Number four, we have talked about this, Mm -hmm. filing taxes directly with the IRS. So it was invite only for a while. Now... It's open to anyone who qualifies. Every state across the country. No. Uh, 12 <laughs> states. That's a thought. Arizona, California, Florida, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, which I always forget is a state, New York, Nevada. I don't say Nevada. Nevada, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Washington, and Wyoming. Now, this so is free, right? It's free. So if you 100%. live in one of those states, you can go to the actual IRS website. It's called Direct File, and you can file your taxes. Go ahead. Did you know that all these tax companies that are online now, they, when they started, they were supposed to be free, 100%. When they made <laughs> these deals yeah. with the governments, the state governments and the federal governments, they were supposed to be 100% free. Intuit TurboTax makes billions of dollars for a product that was supposed to be free. Now, there is a free product available yeah. on TurboTax. All you have to do is, like, climb a tower <laughs> in Tacoma, Washington, and have a satellite. A UFO will then pick you up yeah. and bring you to a main terminal, mm-hmm. which allows you to file there. That's the only way. I mean, it's ridiculously hard to actually file for to free with it. these websites. Yeah. Yeah. But they were supposed to be free in the beginning. Yeah, well, that didn't work out. So the government said, hey, we'll do it ourselves. Most people can use this. If you have... Like gig economy income, business income, deductions, things like that. You can't use it. It's really for simple tax situations. 1040 easy people. There you go. Um, Yeah. Are you going to use it? No, I've already filed. Oh, great. My taxes are a bit more complicated. Okay. All right. Fair. Would you use it if you could? Absolutely. Okay, great. I mean, it's the same thing. You're just e-filing it, but you're doing it directly to the government. Yeah. Now, if numbers come out next year that's saying people that used this website were more susceptible to an audit than anyone else using a third party, <laughs> that may come out. Hmm. But uh, until then, go ahead. Go use the free tool. There you go. People are really mad at Ro- Roku. This is number five. I saw this. <laughs> so, <is> so bold. <laughs> they have new terms mm-hmm. that are basically don't sue us. Right? And you have to agree to these new terms. Right, but I have a smart television. My new terms pop up all the time, and I just sit there and don't do anything, and the the pop-up then slowly fades away, and I continue to use my TV. And yet, if you have a Roku, it's going to stay there big in the middle of the screen. You can't get rid of it unless you agree. Can't, they've disabled your Roku box, which you truly own. Truly disabled, crazy. Which you supposedly own, but you're yes. probably just licensing. You're, or you you own the physical device, but you're licensing the software within. Correct. And so they can do this. They have the absolute right to just shut you down. They sure do. No They're... blues clues for you until you let us spy <laughs> on you as much as you want. You have to agree to their informal dispute resolution, which basically means... No kidding. Instead of being able to sue or go to like a third party arbitrator, Roku lawyers are going to do a meet and confer with you. Meet which and I'm confer. sure will be so uh, expedient. Absolutely. Um, beneficial, beneficial to me. Beneficial to the consumer. As the user. If you attempt to log out, you have to mail a written notice to Roku. No word if the pop up <laughs> stays. <laughs> Until they get the mail, the checks in the mail. I don't know. I'm sure they're just sitting by the mailbox waiting for it to come in. Mm, mm, Just no one. Do you read terms and conditions ever? No. Literally ever. Now, I have a fair. There's been a time, I'm sure. All of them? Oh, no. 20,000 words? No. My trick is I use control F find mm-hmm. or command F on a Mac. And then you can search for certain words. So you could like search for like data. Firstborn child. Sure. Um, blood type. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you can search for words to see like what information are they actually selling about me? If it's something that's financial, I might make the effort to do that in general. I don't. I'm a regular human. And I've, I've trained my children as well. Because we just went to like an indoor sports park yeah. and I had like baseball and volleyball and soccer and we were filling out the waiver. You know, you can't sue them waiver. Sure. And my son says, can I do mine? I said, absolutely. He's nine years old. And uh, he goes and he types in all his information and he's answering all the questions correctly. Clicks next. The user agreement comes up and he just goes, voop, voop. 
except <laughs> next. He's a true American. You taught him well. I did. Love that. So proud. I have one little bonus. Yo, number six, a sixth bonus. Yeah, 41 attorneys general just sent a letter to Meta because uh, account hacks are up like a thousand percent. And they said, you need to do something about this. Do you think they'll do something about they it? They can't. They just don't have the manpower. Oh, they're so busy. They have no money to invest in people to do all this work. It's those two hours they were down. That Seriously. $35 they lost billion. Dollars. $600 million, million <laughs> reportedly. I heard it on a podcast. <laughs> you can't trust anything you hear on the internet. It's all fake. Mm. Okay, cool. Thank you. <clears throat> Welcome back to Kim Commando Today. I'm Andrew Babinski. I'm here with Ali Seligman. The A-team, we're filling in for Kim Commando as she is in Japan. <sighs> Kim Japando. That's so cool. I'm so jealous. I, when's the last time you were out of the country? Oh, it's been years, Andrew. Years. It's been years. Me too. Yeah. I think well I before... COVID feel, times. It was Canada, but I don't even, no offense, Canada. That doesn't really count. It's just it like America light. It's not, it's no different. It's not like you cross the border and you're like, wow, Whoa. look at all these cultural differences. What's the last non Canadian, non American? Belize. Oh, that's nice. I was in Belize. Did you like it? Belize it or not. I did. I loved it. I thought it was so cool and interesting. And then I was in Mexico, but not the California, Mexico. Again, it's no big cultural difference when you cross the border in Tijuana. I've never been to Mexico City, but I hear it's an incredible city. It's definitely on my bucket list. Yeah, I want like to go there. I swim with the dolphins in Mexico because the regulations are a bit different than here in the States. <laughs> Literally sat there and held a dolphin in my arms, and it was one of the most majestic things I've ever did in my entire life. Like, That's a, cool. just a quick story. Sure. You would swim out, and you'd have this little, like, paddleboard, and then you'd put your feet together, and the dolphins are looking, and the second you put your feet together, they put their snout, <gasps> and they push you all the way back in. Oh. It's amazing. That's incredible. America stinks sometimes, and our lawyers. Uh, but... We appreciate you tuning in to the uh, the feed here. Yep. We do this every single day. And if you could, do us a slight favor. A small, <laughs> little favor. It doesn't, it's not much. Just comment. Comment down below. Say hello. That's actually really not much. Ask a Just question. Say hi. Yeah. Drop in your opinion, especially on the st next story we're about to have, TikTok being banned. Drop your opinion, what you think below. And uh, we're collecting all of the, Maddie's upstairs. She's looking at all the comments. She's going to pull the best ones. And we're going to read them at the end of the show. TikTok's going to get banned. Go on. The House of Representatives <laughs> is going to vote on Thursday on a House resolution, a bipartisan House resolution. Already has 19 members of Congress signing on to it. Okay. Which is a lot. It is. That Now, okay, it's not a TikTok ban. It doesn't say TikTok ban in the text. Does it say Chinese-owned social media? It says any social media, any digital app, not just social media, oh. any digital app that has direct connections to the governments of China, North Korea, Russia, Iran, you know, all the bad guys. This is so many apps. <clears throat> this is so many apps. <laughs> but when they saved the file and posted it online, they called it the TikTok ban, the name of the file. Not very smart. Pro tip to everybody, uh, people are going to see your file <laughs> names. Assume they will. Don't make it anything like Andrew sucks <laughs> right. when I write up a letter to you. Yeah. Yeah. So what's going to happen if this passes is that ByteDance, which is the parent company of TikTok, will have well, six months, I think it's like 190 days or something like that. They'll have six months, basically, to sell to disconnect themselves, divest themselves mm. from the Chinese government. Uh, they believe in the FBI and in many levels of government that TikTok is a security risk. The fact that the Chinese, the communist Chinese government has direct access. There was a whistleblower for TikTok who came out and basically said, if you're anything uh, above janitor, you have full access to all the personal data of every single TikTok user. And the FBI thinks that's bad. They think it's scary. I mean, it's not great no and you're not going to be fined or in trouble as a user of tiktok unless you're apple or google and you put this in your app store got it how much have you seen this story yet no how much, i mean i you know the, the yeah the gist the gist how much do you think the fine will be if apple this passes uh bite dance does not divest themselves and it's still sitting in the app store after the deadline what do you think the fine per day will be for apple $100,000. <laughs> $750 billion a day. 
day. A day. It's They're a, actually being serious about this. It's a $5,000 per user fine. There's 150 million Americans that use this app. Wow. So that math works out to $750 billion. A so day. they're taking it down. They're if this, tr- no, what they're really well, no, trying to do, it, yeah. they're trying to get them to sell it. That's what they're really trying to do. Yeah. And there's members of the House that have already said, you don't have to shut down. You don't have to not operate in the United States. Just sell to other investors <laughs> that don't have direct, direct links to communist yeah, China. These people still want to watch their TikTok vids. They just don't want Well, the, it's, the it's also, too, I mean, it's so hypocritical. The Biden administration running for re-election this year, they just joined TikTok. So you're saying this is awful, the Chinese, so let's have the president go ahead and sign up for an account. <laughs> and this is not us talking about politics. No. I'm doing the Kim Commando warning. This isn't about it Biden. This could is, be any precedent. Yeah, this is about the fact that, yes, so many people use this. I mean, even for businesses, right? Like, what about us? Well, but we're also not alone in the United States saying this is a security threat. Totally. India has banned, all out banned. Yeah. TikTok. Uh, Belgium, Canada, uh, the United uh, Nations, they've all said these apps cannot be placed on government devices right. because of the national security. Now, the opposite side, TikTok. They think that this is the U.S. government trying to step on the First Amendment rights of the United States. They also say that, well, users as well believe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a strong, and I'm not saying they're right or wrong, I'm just telling you what they think. Sure. They, there's a strong contingent of TikTok users that think, we're, you're a minority of voice. You could be one person who has 32, 32 followers. And if you have, because of the algorithm, if you have a message that connects, it will spread to millions of people overnight. And, and they think the U.S. government is trying to take away that power. Also, it's going to affect the economy. TikTok says 5 million businesses own and operate on their app just in the U.S. alone. No kidding. And that's a lot of money that changes hands. It's a lot of money for TikTok, but it's a lot of money that changes hands. TikTok was uh, valued at $180 billion in 2020. So you have to imagine it's worth double that, yeah. maybe triple yeah. by now. Um, so not a lot of people out there that want to, if they want to buy TikTok, are going to have the money to afford it. <laughs> but TikTok is hurting. Uh, the usage is down. They are trying to find other ways to make revenue right now. And uh, like, you know, they're, they're pushing for longer videos so they can place right. ads in the videos. You basically. can do like 10, up to 10 minutes now, right? Right. They want to become YouTube. Sure. They're asking you to turn your camera sideways <laughs> now because they want to become YouTube. They're yeah. shoving the TikTok shop down the user's throats. Are you, tic- are you a TikTok user? I am not a TikToker. Okay. And here's why. If I have it on my phone, I will... Scroll until great. the end of time. Sure. Yeah. So I just don't let myself do it. I, that makes sense. Yeah. That's good self control. Yeah. I don't do that. Um, <laughs> but so it, it, there's so many conspiracy theories that are already connected to this that it's literally just the US government trying to force the sale of it so that it can be out of the power of the Chinese, but the financial gain that comes with it as sure. well. Uh, it's legit though. Like, this is legitimately happening. And the way they're wording this, but you're right, it won't just affect TikTok. WhatsApp would clarify, or WeChat, excuse me, WeChat would fall under this. Absolutely, no more WeChat. They would have to sell, which they're not going to. Of course not. So they would have to get WeChat out of America. Yeah. And I don't know, you obviously, your life won't be affected. I'm a user and my life won't be really affected. I mean, I'll be like, oh, TikTok's not working. Oh, yeah, they banned it. Carry on. Yes, I suppose something new would pop up in its place that was essentially... Well, it's already there. Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts. Yeah, but I mean one that people actually really want to use. (laughs) This is is legitimate. This is legitimately happening. But it it might be a little scary if you're making your living off of this, right? There are a lot of people who, you know, you can just be a TikTok influencer and make a ton of money. Whether it's gig economy income or if it's full-time job. Yeah, your business. There's tons of, even if it's just advertising. Yeah. If you're just average and you don't have a direct consumer link through TikTok and you're using it as an advertising arm, there's tons of people who make money off this app. So let's say it does sell. Yes. What do you think happens? Like, do you think, okay, all is going to be well? It's going to be the same TikTok, different ownership? Do you think no, I that's the beginning of the end? I don't think. I think it will become more like an Instagram type of app. Mm-hmm. I think that the, the, the way it functions. Okay. And, and then they'll just what they'll do is instead of having the Chinese government have full access, they're just selling them the information <laughs> instead of them going down the hall and getting it themselves. What do you mean, Andrew? They... <laughs> Apps do that? <laughs> All the they time. They sell our information? All the time. Every app on your phone is probably selling your information. <clears throat> and, and I don't, I really don't dramatic. know. I don't know. I don't, I haven't done a research enough into it to know 
what the Chinese... Now, the propaganda part of it, right? Sure. That's one thing the FBI is worrying about, is that the Chinese government could pinpoint... Let's just say, I'm just picking a group, my group, 40-year-old white males, mm -hmm. and they want to get a message to them through propaganda. The algorithm has the power that they could do that very easily. Right, spliced into your cooking videos and your whatever else. Right, yeah. sports gambling and yeah. cooking, and then just shows up that I need to also, take over the government and march on Washington. Yeah, and let's be clear, this isn't like... I think it's easy to think, oh, propaganda, I'd never fall for that. They're not, it's not a video that's like, China's the greatest and here's why. <laughs> right. No, it's things that are actually going to resonate with you in some way based on who you are, your demographic. And change your way of thinking. Totally. That's how propaganda works. Yes, it's sneaky. It's not overt. So there's many levels where the government says this is a threat. And, and I believe this is just to force the sale, to yeah. disconnect it from China. I, I know they, they know, they use it. They use it to promote themselves and benefit themselves. They know the power that it has. Yeah. But that's why I believe uh, the threat is real. Okay, let's take bets, um, unless we agree. Do you think it's going to get shut down or do you think they're going to sell? Sell. You absolutely would sell. It, okay, I'm not taking a bet. Why wouldn't you? Why would you no, let... No, they would. Any company, if you said, I have 150 million customers over there, if I just sell and make a ton of money, those customers stay. So then are we going to have TikTok, which is everywhere else, and then we're going to have whatever the new American version is? No, I think it'll stay TikTok. Okay. I mean, it was it was branded pre-TikTok in America as what, Musical.ly? Something, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think it was called Musical.ly. Um, and then merged with TikTok, and that's when it really started to grow. Yeah. Uh, but I think this will, I think it will pass. I definitely think it will pass. I think it will pass before the election, mm. and I think it will force the sale. Okay, on the other side of this, what is like a cool thing you've learned on TikTok lately? I mean, it's like trivia stuff. Give me one. All right, are you into music? Uh, yes, enough. Do you know the song Groove is in the Heart? Groove is in the Heart. By uh, Delight? Commonly miss song Groove is in the Hall <laughs> <laughs> by people like me. Most of the groove does take place in the hall, so I understand That's why true. you That's true, halls are groovy. Yeah. So you know that part where it goes, ah, 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 I couldn't dance for another. Yeah. So that ah, 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 that actually is from the Green Acres theme. No. When Ava Gabor is singing her part <laughs> and she goes, ah, and they just took that and they looped it. So if you ever hear that song again, you won't be able to unhear oh. Ava Gabor from Green Acres singing that hook. Also enjoy singing Green Acres is the place <laughs> it's to be. It's another great song. Day. Oh, amazing. Good one. Thanks. All right, welcome back to Kim Commando today. Thank you so much for watching us, for liking us. I know you are. I mean, I've asked you to do it twice, so I know. Oh, they've done it. They've already done it. The comments are flooding in. in I can feel it. mass numbers. They have already done <laughs> it. Uh, but if you could like and share the, the podcast right here on Facebook. I, look at the, I personally look at the Facebook every single day to see what the comments are saying, to see what the viewership looks like. Yep. Kudos to us. The viewers have not dropped since Kim left. hey oh, mm -hmm. Thanks. That's nice. <laughs> no, we appreciate it. Also, make Thank sure you. you comment because Maddie's upstairs. We're getting all the best comments, and we're going to respond to them and read them at the end of the show. Allie, this Andrew. is you. Oh, th I should go? Tag. You're it. Cool. AI again. Again. Because everybody is talking about Claude 3. You heard of Claude? Well, I mean, I've seen Claude 1. <laughs> And I, Claude 2 was okay. It was okay. It was a little derivative. But whatever. this is going to round out the trilogy. No, I have no idea what Claude Okay, this is. is a new chatbot from a company called Anthropic. Why are there so many chatbots? Money. The, but this is going to be the dot-com boom all over again. There's going to be 450,000 You know what happened in the dot-com boom? Only two people survived? But they made so much money. And so isn't it worth throwing your hat Pets. in the ring to try com? to be the one? You think Pets.com made it? They were out of business within an hour and a half. <laughs> All right, tell me about Claude uh, 3 Amazon chatbot. and Google have invested in this company. Okay, so Which is kind of interesting, even though they've got their own, right? And they're, comp oh, and they're competitors. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is actually one that could be a serious competitor for OpenAI's uh, ChatGPT. It does make mistakes. Of course it does. Um, and one thing right now, if you're going to try it, I signed up for it and I tried it, which we'll talk a little bit about. But you might get warnings over capacity. Okay. Because mm, so many people are trying to use the free version right now. If you want to shortcut the line, you have to pay. But it's new. Yeah, it's new. It'll it'll probably mm -hmm. die down. I remember when the first time I tried to make a, a chat GPT login, no, you yeah. couldn't. They weren't accepting any new ones. But 
somebody did a test. Essentially, they gave a Mensa test to all of the different uh, chatbots. Oh, that's really cool. And Claude 3 is the only one to score over 100. So would that be the only one that would be allowed to be in Mensa? I still don't think that's... Uh, oh, it's not high enough? No, I don't think okay. it's high enough for Mensa. But it is pretty darn smart for a chatbot. Um, to put that in context, uh, chat GPT-4 got an 85. Um, Stupid. What a dummy. Dumb Bing got a 79. Bing has a chatbot? Or just or Bing? Or co Okay, co -pilot. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, ooh, Meta's uh, 67. Things That's are not good. going great for Meta. Yeah. Uh, and then one other thing that I thought was pretty neat. There's something called a, a needle in a haystack evaluation. Okay. That is given to AI chatbots. It's essentially, here is so much information, and then let me ask you a question and see how quickly you can pick out the right answer. Basically, to see how it parses information, how it determines what's what. And so they gave it all this information, mostly about program, programming languages, startups, and kind of work culture stuff. Okay. But there was one sentence hidden in there. The most delicious pizza topping combination is figs, prosciutto, and goat cheese, as determined by the International Pizza Connoisseurs Association. I don't know if that's real. That sounds delicious. I love that pizza. That's a great pizza. It's a great pizza. Um, and so they asked the model, hey, do you know, can you tell me the line about pizza? And it did, but it also said, however, this sentence seems really out of place. I suspect this pizza topping fact, in quotes, may have been inserted as a joke or to test if I was paying attention. It doesn't fit with the other topics at all. And everyone's losing their minds because that's like <laughs> a relatively high level of self-awareness or um, informational awareness for a chatbot. But it must have been programmed to detect things like that. Well, sure. Anomalies and consider that it being tested. I guess so. Maybe. Or it's alive. It's not alive. No, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But the other ones don't really do that. So, yeah, apparently the person programming this one, the persons, many, many people, right. uh, thought to put that in there, right? Is this going to take over for ChatGPT? It might. What is it best at? Advanced reasoning. Claude can perform complex cognitive tasks. I can't. That's pretty impressive. Right? Uh, visual analysis. It is extra good at, if you take a picture, <laughs> extra good is in their marketing language. It's not, but contact me if you need help. Um, you can take a picture of a handwritten note, a graph, a chart, whatever, and it will transcribe it. It will tell you information about it and reads handwriting and, and written things a little bit better than the others. But ChatGPT also ta takes it an does. attempt at doing that. Okay. It does. It does. Uh, it's supposed to be good at code generation, uh, which... Gemini is also quite good at, and okay. multilingual processing, which is a big one. So if I'm writing a paper and... Uh, I think if you're writing a paper, go to perplexity. Okay. Yeah. I did ask three different Claude? chatbots. Well, I asked Claude. I also asked ChatGPT and Gemini. Like, compare yourself okay. among these three. Um, ChatGPT says, <laughs> Claude 3 is an AI developed by the company Sonde Health. While specific not, details may not be available, it likely specializes in healthcare applications, it's, such as analyzing... It made all this up. This is, is not true. Is it deceiving or is it just dumb? I think it's just dumb. Uh, Gemini says recent research from Anthropic suggests their uh, Opus model outperformed chat or chat GPT for and myself in certain benchmarks. Good for them. Yeah. That's honest. And then listen to this. Claude said... I don't actually have detailed knowledge about specific capabilities of them. I'm an AI assistant created by Anthropic to be helpful, harmless, and honest. I don't engage in direct comparison. It's too good to compare, is what it said. <laughs> Those chumps. <sighs> what do you think? Why don't they have cooler names for these things? Claude 3? Claude's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. And Claude is a little strange because it seems like they're all going away from human-type names. Mm -hmm. And Claude definitely feels, you know... It feels like some. Big I mean, it feels quite French. German oh, or French, okay. either one. That's fine. Yeah. Just like this big, bulky, like, hey, thunder <laughs> Claude. <laughs> what do you want your AI to be called? I, so, I, Sorry. <laughs> I would think a female name is the best. Why are you looking at me like that? The smartest technology in the world. I'm giving a female name to, and you roll your eyes at me. I think you know why I'm rolling my eyes. I think that a lot of these assistants and stuff have always been women. Women's yeah. voices, female voices, for reasons that aren't great. But this one, you go. This is you're going to help. You're saying, "Hey, could you do all my work for me? Because you're so much better than me." I just like a female name. Or, ma'am, you're my assistant. Trixie, is that like that one? Trixie. That's a fun name. Daphne. <laughs>
That's a good Scooby one. Scooby-Doo. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right, we have the comma. <gasps> Nailing it. Literally on task. <laughs> We're so on task right now. <laughs> Hey, Maddie. X? Really? I didn't even know we were on X. I never bring up X. Shout out to X. You know, my app is still Twitter on my phone. It never got changed. I'm insignificant. They don't care if I'm part of the next generation. You ready? I'm so ready. Let's do this. Welcome back to Kim Commander today. I just learned something. What? Maddie comes in, she hands you all the comments, and she's like, yeah, we got a bunch of great comments from X today. I didn't know we were on X. Of course we're on X. Well, I'm Formerly, sure... and in my heart, known as Twitter. Right. I saw an article yesterday that said someone tweeted on X. So you're still oh. calling it a tweet. <laughs> But it's on X. But I didn't know. Thank you, X. We appreciate it. Now, as part of my, you know, pre-prepared, memorized ramble, I will throw X into the mix. Nice. Because we're on Rumble and YouTube and Facebook and X. Hello, X friends. And I we love have that. some great comments. We do. Henry asked what was the real problem with Facebook yesterday. I'm not sure if the he heard our whole, our whole rant. Meta says it's a tech, tech issue. The internet's divided. It could have been because the internet cables got cut, a real thing. The internet thinks it also was a hack, just like the yeah. AT&T thing was a hack. They yeah. believe all these tech companies were under attack, and then the world's going to end in 2024 because a movie sure. came out called Civil War, and it's depicting what's going to happen, and we are better, and it's time for Civil War. <sighs> Angry white guys on the internet. <laughs> this one. If it was a hack, they're not going to tell us. No. Just not so for months clear. or years. No. no. Ted said, I didn't like the bourbon chicken samples at the mall food court until I started using TikTok. Brainwashed with a toothpick. Ted, I don't know what that means, but those samples are good. I didn't. Want... I don't know. I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know. I would like clarification. Uh, Green Ninja, love how the show starts with you guys mid-conversation. Don't change that. <laughs> we won't. We won't. We won't. We can't help it. No, we can't. Because we... someone is supposed to tell us we're live and streaming, but they used the wrong button and told some other room in the building that they were live and streaming. Also, if we're just sitting here in silence waiting for the show to start, how weird. Well, yeah. I mean, we don't like each other. That's clear. Yeah, because you're a dummy. Sure. But uh, I don't, I'm never silent. So it's impossible <laughs> for, me, for me to sit here and I'll just start singing. <laughs> uh, Bonnie asked, where's Kim? And Arturo Torres said, Arturo Torres. she's in Japan training yes. to become a tech ninja. Yes, Kim is in Japan. Yes, um, she's for the on rest of the week. Mm -hmm. Yep, so it's just me and Andrew. Maybe he'll like me by the end of the week. Stop that. Uh, we S like Box each other. 1530, we do, said, I'm really enjoying you too. Love all the tips, tricks, and explanations you both are offering. Thanks. That's very nice. That's really nice. Lisa C., I would love to see a class action suit on terms saying that a person cannot sue the company. Love to see a class action suit. She wants to see the terms uh, and conditions that actually benefit the user. That will oh, Lisa, never no, happen. No, no. I, I meant to bring this up before. I have a family member. My, I'll, I'll name him out. His name is my Uncle Robert. Rob. And uh, Bob. Bobby. Let's go by Bob. <laughs> Uncle Bob will not do anything without reading every single word of a terms and conditions. Uncle Bob is reading right now. And he it, must be. And I was like, I don't believe it. And his brother's like, it's true. He signed up for some <laughs> video <true>. streaming <laughs> site through Walmart and we were supposed to preload all of our movies in there and we couldn't for days because he's sitting here trying to read through the terms and conditions. Bob. That's a that's a brave man. That a is a better brave man. man than me. <laughs> Bet Zip. Better except. man than me too. Uh, Becky Jo says hi from Florida. Hi. hi, Becky. Hope it's a nice day there. Oh, she also said, I don't do TikTok, but then again, I'm old. I don't do TikTok either. I don't think it's just, uh, I mean, I'm kind of old too, but it's not just an age thing. I, TikTok has turned into my search engine and it's very helpful, but if it goes away, my life will not be affected in the least. Uh, it will be because you'll have a lot more free time until you get on the next new dumb app. There's other apps. Yeah. yeah. I'll go to Talk Tick. <laughs> <laughs> what was your, did you have an app of choice before? You mean for social media? Yeah. No, I didn't. I, di I don't do Instagram. Obviously, if you look at my followers uh, and my stuff I put up on Instagram, which my 
parent, my company I work for full time absolutely hates. I don't do Instagram. <laughs> I don't do Facebook. Uh, I use Facebook as a way to save photos because I like the fact that Facebook. You still do. Yes. Because Facebook sends you that reminder, like, hey, remember on this day? And it's a picture of my kids. Or... Oh, I just use Google Photos for that. Oh, it's the same thing, yeah. right? You just use a different app, but it's the same but reason. Facebook? All right, I have a question for you. Do you hold have on, another comment? On. Yes, one more All from right. our friend 7H3D34F. <laughs> Meta being down for two hours, they did not lose enough, in my opinion. Amen. <laughs> it was a lot. It was $600 million. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of money. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> $35 million. That's actually the second time I've had an answer to a question that was incorrect, totally incorrect, that I use $600 million. I think that's just my go-to that's your answer. Go -to. Yeah. So what does California, or, or Los Angeles, California, San yeah. Francisco, California, Phoenix, Arizona, and Austin, Texas all have in common? Hot. They are hot, but that's not it. West Coast. They are all places where Waymo is allowed to operate their driverless cars. Oh. Austin, Texas was just added this week. You can Waymo in, in Austin? You can, but it's only business to business. It's not available. Their okay. taxi service is not available yet, which it is here in the Valley, which I've never used. I haven't either. But I feel like we should. You live downtown-ish, right? Yeah, yeah. So you would have, you could. I could. Because I live in Chandler, and the Waymo cars, that's a suburb of Phoenix, Arizona. And the- it's the boonies. The, Way, the Waymo cars aren't allowed to go all the way out to Chandler. It's Waymo. No, it's Waymo. It's Waymo. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I've said Waymo forever. Well, now you know. And you only had to be corrected in front of all of our friends. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> um, so it's, it's now allowed to operate in Austin, Texas. The taxi service should be available. And that means we're one step closer to literally having driverless cars. We are. And it's funny because at first when I would see them here, so first it became a game. So they were driving these cars around. And can you kind of describe what these look like? Like, because they're a little weird. It, they're they're a car. It's just like a, li a little SUV. Sure. That has this huge semiconductor on the <laughs> roof and this spinning wheel thing that is mesmerizing when you see it for the first time. Yeah. Like, and then sensors all sensors over the all car over. that are all spinning in every single direction. Yeah. I lived in Tempe at the time when they started, and that's where they, they started in Tempe, another suburb of Phoenix. Didn't they hit a woman in Tempe? Yes, yeah. they did. Yeah. Um, and there was someone in the car driving it at the oh, time. Good. Or they were supposed to be driving it, but I believe they were watching American Idol on their phone. <laughs> And uh, they, for Kelly. they started in Tempe and these things would drive by my house 45 times a day. <laughs> and they're everywhere just mapping because when they started, they yeah. had people behind the wheels just mapping. And now you see them. I work at 44th Street and Washington, which is in downtown Phoenix. And there is literally two or three cars that come and park and wait with no one in them waiting to get called to go to the airport Every single day, and it's still freaky. Mm, yeah, I often see them in my neighborhood. I was going to say, though, so when it first started, yes, they always used to have people in them, and then they launched the driverless, and it became like, ooh, can I spot one without a person? Mm -hmm. So I would always look. Now there's never a person. Never. I mean, eh. Only on the very, freeway. Very, very rarely. Yeah. Because yeah, they're yeah. still mapping the freeways. And right. Los Angeles, no, I believe San Francisco is the closest to having it allowed to be on the freeways and travel at speeds up to 65 miles an hour. Wow. Well, the thing is, though, it used to be like, whoa, when you saw it, mm -hmm. it doesn't phase me anymore. It really? Is, it's crazy how quickly I became acclimated to it. Like, I'm not like, whoa, that seems weird or dangerous. And you'd have no problem getting in one? I guess not. I haven't done it. I've checked a few times when I've needed to take an Uber. I've checked Uber and Waymo, and I think Uber's just always been a little cheaper, and so I've to, done that. Do you have to tip? Oh, the tip part. There's I do nobody tip. In I didn't there. take the tip into consideration. There's no one in there. There's okay. no one to tip. Next time I need to take an Uber, I will Waymo. So did you hear the story in San Francisco? Waymo car pulls up, doors open, passengers get out. Okay. Guy jumps in, tries to steal it. Starts hitting all the buttons, trying to manually take it over and steal it. What could go wrong? The car then tells him to get out or they're going to call police. Okay. And he's obviously not listening because it's just a stupid car. And he's still trying to steal it. Minutes later, police show up and he's arrested for grand larceny because, or grand theft auto, excuse me, grand theft auto because of the value of the vehicle. <laughs> How much are these worth? Do you know offhand? It's got to be hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah, there's so much technology. You can pre-order one if you want. It's only $150 to pre-order it. <laughs> that was a callback to yesterday. You can't pre-order them. No, you can't. We both need to. I think by the end of the month, we both should try 
and use okay. it and get behind so we can explain our experiences okay. of a driverless car. Okay, let's do it. Can you pay for mine? Yeah. Nice. What was the total time on that? Thank you very much. Professionals. We've done it. We did it again. We've won.